Now you remember, I don't channel. Everything I write about comes from my hypnosis sessions with clients. And I've had done 45 years of this now with thousands and thousands and thousands of clients. And when many of them keep saying the same thing over and over, you know there has to be something to it. And that's why I'm the reporter and I'll take bits and pieces of different sessions to put the puzzle together. But I remember one of the first things that came out uh, when we were doing this was the idea of simultaneous time. And, you know, I was quite comfortable with reincarnation, linear progression. I had taken many people back through 30 different lifetimes and I would jump them back by 100 year jumps. That was the way I worked. And then these ideas began coming in and they would, I would think, oh, wait a minute, I got this all figured out. I know how reincarnation works. I don't want somebody upsetting my belief system here. <laughs> you know, messing with what well, I already, I know it. I'm not going to have it changed. But then I got to thinking, if you think that way, you're no better than the church that says, do what we say, believe what we say, and don't ask any questions. So when these ideas began coming in, I thought, well, maybe I should at least look at them and examine them. And one of the first ones that happened when I was doing the Nostradamus material was the idea of uh, simultaneous time. Because, you know, I've got 17 books out there, and I don't know how many of you have read them all. But in that book, we were speaking across time to Nostradamus while he was alive, living in France, writing the prophecies. And it got very complicated. How can we be speaking to him while he is alive? He was not a spirit, he was not dead. He was living his life. And he began to tell me, this is, so it's all now. And here I'm trying to figure this idea out. So I'm always asking lots and lots of questions. I have a terrible curiosity. I've got to know everything about everything. So uh, when I got these, I was able to ask questions to them. That's what I call them. The one, it's the source of all knowledge that I've got contact with. And we call it the subconscious in my classes, but actually it's higher self, the oversoul, the higher consciousness. And I first thought I'd stumbled on it later in my work, but now when I go back and read the older books, it was always there, but I just didn't know it. But I found out if I ever had a question, I could ask them. And I said, okay, so, you know, simultaneous time means everything is happening at the same time. And I said, how can that be? We know you start out as a baby, you grow into a teenager, you grow into an adult, how can that all be happening at the same time? Doesn't make any sense. They said, because you're using the wrong terminology. It's not happening at the same time. It's existing at the same time. You see how the words are very important in the way they explain things. They said, we will never know it all while we're alive. It's absolutely impossible. There are no concepts in the human mind to totally understand it. Although Guy Needler has really bent the, <laughs> he's trying. But they said it's not the brain, it's the mind. That we don't have the concepts. We'll know it all when we die. But when we're trying to understand it now, we have to do it with the filter of our own understanding. And they said many times there are no words to explain the concepts they're trying to get across to me. So they do the worst, best they can. And many times they invent words, turns nouns into verbs and verbs into nouns to get the concept across. But they said, you can ask questions and we will give you the best we can. And I always say, give me analogies, give me pictures, something that I can understand. But it's the idea that 
There is no time. Well, there is no time anyway. But we're trapped in the concept. Time is an illusion. <clears throat> and the ETs have said it very clearly. They say mankind will never travel in space until it gets all out of the concept of time. That's what holds you to Earth. And they said we are probably the only species in the universe has found a way to measure something that does not exist. <laughs> so leave it to us. But if there is no concept of time, we have invented it because, you know, we go day to day, hour to hour. Our whole lives are built upon it. So it's very hard to get away from the idea <coughs> that time does not exist. But with the idea of simultaneous time, it means everything that's ever happened in your life, childhood, baby, adults, everything is all happening now. And it's all still there. Now, I know with the hypnosis that we do, we can go back and revisit those childhood times. And I've had people become those children again. But that means it's all happening now and all of your past lives and all of your future probabilities are all now, which is very hard for us to understand. But somebody gave me a very good ex example. <coughs> um, they said, when you make a phone call and you're in America and you're calling London, six hour time difference, well, when you make the phone call, are you waiting six hours for the person to answer you each time you ask a question? No, because when you're talking to them, they're receiving it and answering you at the same time, even though there's six hours and a half a world away between us. That's a good idea of simultaneous time. It's all now. Everything is happening now. That's, we, we realize it when we travel so much, that it's the hours difference, and sometimes it's a whole day difference. We come in on yesterday, and then we're coming in on tomorrow in different countries. We soon realize there's, time doesn't exist. It's just, it's a mess anyway. But this is one of the things we have to get, get used to. There is no such thing as time. Everything is happening now.